Move into Niceville. That's what you searched, right? Well, if it is, you're in the right place because we're going to talk about the five things that you will love about living here. What we're going to be talking about is the livability of the community, affordability of living in the area. We're going to talk about housing costs. We'll talk about the natural beauty and outdoor activities. We're going to talk about that quality education. That's probably why you clicked on this video. <laughs> the quality education and the low poverty rate security in this area. We're going to talk about the proximity to the bigger amenities and the bigger cities. And we'll also talk about that livability score. So if you are in for that, you're in for a treat. You're in the right place, so stick around. What's up, everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here and the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area that includes Niceville. How nice. If this is your first time to our channel, we do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, if you are going to our area, you got some problems you need to solve, like moving here, <laughs> and you need some help, please give myself and my team a call here. Give us a call, text, email, send us a little paper airplane. Whatever you need to do, we got your back. We're moving here to the Niceville and the Dustin Fort Walton Beach area. All right, Niceville. How awesome is Niceville? It's even in its name. It's nice. <laughs> if you go to Niceville, uh, a lot of people move here because it's actually one of the more affluent but laid back areas. Uh, you'll see in certain areas in Niceville, it's surrounded by what they call Blue Water Bay. Everybody thinks of when they're moving down here to the Emerald Coast, it's going to be emerald colored water, but they got Blue Water Bay. It's absolutely gorgeous out here. So uh, let's go into those things that we were just talking about before. Now, the first is the livability and community that we have in Niceville. So the population of Niceville, at least at the time of this video, was 16,263. Now at the time of this video, is in 2023. <laughs> now it is a very close-knit, uh, welcoming environment that you're gonna find in Niceville. Our livability score out here is actually above average, <laughs> uh, considering a lot of different factors. First being the education, which we're gonna go into a lot more here in a little bit. You're also gonna have the low crime rates. You're going to see the cost of living and just generally rated the happiness of the people that are in Niceville. Uh, what's really nice is it's just <laughs> nice. <laughs> there, there's, <laughs> there's just a great sense of community in the Niceville area. How do you know this, right? You see a lot of people, if they're really into the community and feel very comfortable out taking walks on bike rides, kids are out, you know, in the cul-de-sacs on their bikes. There's a lot of different times where you see kids playing all, all around. Uh, neighbor kids are playing with each other and not, you know, getting after each other. Um, <laughs> you'll see that a lot of different restaurants that you're going to see in different venues that there's a lot of people of the community in Niceville that actually come out together. When it comes to football, <laughs> Friday Night Lights is not uncommon here when it comes to uh, Niceville High School. Uh, Niceville High School is rated one of the top in the state, and it's actually really great just to see everybody kind of come together like that. Uh, so there's a lot, there's a very strong community, especially around school-aged children uh, throughout the entire community. So. Yeah, you're going to kind of find that. I also want to kind of talk about uh, what it's like in the people that are here. And in order to do that, you kind of have to, you, you have to figure out where we're located and what's around the Niceville area. And in the Niceville area, we, we've got a little bit more of an affluent feel, feel for it. So most of the, because it's expensive, like it's expensive to live there. So it's, it's, it's kind of brings that a little bit more into it. But we also have proximity to Eglin Air Force Base. So we've got military, military contractors and veterans that fill up a lot of these communities, much like me. <laughs> they didn't grow up here. We just experienced this area and was like, yeah, this is for me and decided to, to move here. 
Uh, you also have, you know, we're really close to Alabama, so you also have that Southern hospitality that really affects the community and is part of the values of the community. And then, of course, we're in Florida. <laughs> so you have a very laid back, kind of laissez-faire sort of feel that you're going to get uh, when, you, when you go into Niceville and actually most of the surrounding areas. Uh, so, so that's really the feel that you're going to get. And, and I've been all around the world and there really hasn't been anything that's been that close with, that, with the sort of values that they have here. Okay, number two, we're going to talk about affordability and cost of living. So the affordability is pretty average with the, with the actual national average when it comes to certain things. Now, you can look these up yourself if you want to. You can go to areavibes.com or um, any site like that, and you'll, and you'll see what the cost of living actually is. And they usually rate it in the general cost of living, and, and that's what people typically go off of. But it'll also say groceries. It will talk about medical, it'll talk about transportation, um, and things of that nature. And it'll kind of give you that score, what Florida is and what the national average is. Now it is a little bit higher on average, but ever, uh, on average overall. But the reason that it's high has nothing to do with uh, with almost all those other categories except housing. Housing is pretty expensive when it comes to Niceville, and we'll talk about that here now. So the single family homes, if you're looking to get a single family home in Niceville, the median. The median in 2023, at least at this time of uh, 2023, was around uh, 475,000. Now that was a high all the way up to two mil, which I'm sure was sitting on Blue Water Bay or something like that. It must've been on the water. And then a low of 112,000, which I'm sure was a complete mess or a trailer. <laughs> I didn't actually see the one for that one. So that kind of gives you a big broad range for it. but. Still, it's not the most expensive in the area. When we look at the expenses of, we'll say, just across the bay, which is in uh, Destin, the median home rate for that in 2023 was over 800,000 for a single family home. So pretty crazy, right? So it is pretty affordable given whatever else is out here. Now, if you're like, I don't need a yard or I could live in a condo or an attached unit, just know there's not a whole lot of condos in Niceville. There are plenty of attached units and a lot of these attached units will have a dock or something like that uh, or not. But <laughs> you'll, you'll see attached units like townhomes and things like that uh, throughout the community. And they're typically a little bit older by and large. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see this area was around uh, a median price for an attached for a condo was 310,000. So significantly cheaper, right? But they're all the way up there to 2.6 mil <laughs> and as low as 87,000. All right. Okay. So that's, uh, that's number two. Let's go into number three. We got the natural beauty and outdoor activities. One thing that Niceville does have is it's, it's gorgeous right? It's gorgeous. I would almost uh, put it to living on a big lake, like, like a, something of that nature without the mountains around you. <laughs> uh, mainly because we've got that blue water bay that's right there. Now, although you jump in that and then you could take right off and go into Destin or really go anywhere you want. Um, if you do have access to the water, it could put a boat in. It's actually pretty quick around. Uh, but having access to water activities is one of those things. So that's really nice. You've got a lot of great fishing, world-class boating, world-class boating in our area. It's actually was featured in Boating Magazine. It was Regatta Bay that's out there in Dustin. Kind of cool. You could check it out. Uh, canoeing, you know, paddle boarding. We see a lot of people out there doing that and all sorts of different things. Like if you've got a boat and you can go out there and go snorkeling, there's some really good, well, they're putting artificial reefs and everything in there. Um, you've got access to Crab Island if you want to go do that. Uh, that's, if you don't know what that is, it's not really an island. It's about, I don't know, ankle, sometimes uh, knee or hip deep water. And everybody just kind of sits there and parties and, you know, has a good time. There's, there's all sorts of different shops and barges that they put out there now. Uh, it's been pretty popular for people to go out and drink all day. Like <laughs> it's been a really fun, fun area. But you could be there in about 20 minutes by boat, depending upon what side of boat you got, right? All right, you also have access to the Gulf of Mexico. You've got in in that area, you or in Niceville, you also have the Boggy Bayou. 
you have Choct Choctaw, we call it Choctaw Bay. I think it's called Choctaw Bay, but I, I don't know. I haven't really said it right for a while. <laughs> um, but you have access to those for your water activities. And if you are looking to go out and hit the trails or see something like that, you also have Turkey Creek Nature Trail that's going to be out there, as well as Rocky Bayou State Park. And those will have different trails and things and parks and whatever else that you need to go to. All right, number four is the quality education, low poverty and security. Yes, I told you I was going to come back to this. <laughs> All right, so if you are going to Niceville, uh, Niceville's got some of the best schools in the area. And a lot of people, that's why they want to go for their kids. They've got the one of the best high schools, Niceville High School, is actually ranked 61st in all of Florida. And it's actually ranked 1,093 in the entire United States. So uh, actually ranked really, really good. They've got some great academic programs that go out through their good community, like I mentioned before, especially when it comes to sports. Um, and you, you also have a lot of good ranking schools that surround it, like the junior high and a lot of the elementary schools. Again, you could check a lot of the different places like niche.com uh, to see what the reviews are and what the ratings are. But I would always go with the reviews. I'm, I'm a big fan of seeing what everybody else has <laughs> uh, says on that because that's usually more indicative of whatever metrics that they're using to sort of rank that. But uh, yeah, some of the best schools that you're going to see out there. Uh, because of the cost of living and everything else out there, the poverty rate is, is much, much lower than the average uh, throughout the United States, which is typically, if you don't know, is typically around 10 to 13%, but it's much, much, much lower than that when you have out there. And when it comes to security, um, the Niceville Police Department does a great job in, in that area. There's a lot of uh, patrols that happen, and so doing is keeping a lot of the crime down throughout that area. Uh, people really enjoy and support the police um, in, in our community. So that's something to kind of keep in mind uh, when you do come to the area. Now, number five on the list is the proximity to bigger cities and amenities. Now, Niceville's does have access to it, but you got to drive. <laughs> All right. Uh, you just, just got to drive to get there. Now, it's not as bad as Crestview, but you do have to drive to get there. Um, when, when it comes to getting to different amenities, there's not a ton, there's a good amount of infrastructure in Niceville, but if you want to go to some of the bigger chain stores, you want to go to like a Sam's club or something like that, or some boutique shop, you may have to head down to either Fort Walton beach or head over to Destin. Uh, Destin does have most of the shops and everything else, but you also have to hit that toll bridge, which is about, I think at the time of this video, like three fifty or four bucks either way, like one, so $8, you know, to use that toll bridge. Um, but you do have access to all those different things. And when it comes to being able to get to certain places, you also pretty close to hitting um, 85, Route 85 to get to I-10 to go wherever you need to go. So it's actually really nice when it comes to the traffic and talking about traffic with Route 20 that goes through there, a lot of it's just local traffic. Now, it does seem congested, but most of the congestion is from local traffic. And it's because you do have the highways that go up and around. So most people that are going to Crestview are going to use, you know, uh, 85 to get there. And anybody else trying to get to Destin coming down won't go through Niceville. They'll go through, I believe it's 223, uh, which is a toll road that will take them direct into the toll bridge to get them into Destin. So really, it's kind of nice when it looks like that because you just... You just have kind of your locals when it comes to that specific area. But you can get wherever you need to get. You can get to Destin, Port Walton, get over to Pensacola pretty quick, um, all, from, all from Niceville. All right, but last but not least, we do have the livability score. <laughs> all right, the livability score for Niceville is excellent. Excellent. So if you're looking that up, it is excellent. It's got a fantastic quality of life from all the, everything that we kind of talked about already. A uh, big factor, the biggest factor why people are moving is the education. Uh, the crime rate and, of course, the cost of living contribute to this high score. Now, some things to keep in mind if you do decide to move there. Some of the more popular areas that people end up moving to when they go to Niceville is Blue Water Bay. Now, Blue Water Bay does have a couple of different 
neighborhoods with inside of it. Uh, there's actually a golf course, which they are now converting into new housing. So yeah, they're having new housing that's coming up or be in production of coming up in Niceville. Uh, so, or in Blue Water Bay. There's also a gated community called Magnolia Bay that's in there, which is probably the most affluent out of uh, the Blue Water Bay, but you get all the amenities. There's a marina in there. There's a bunch of offices, like professional offices. There's restaurants, there's, there's everything in there. And of course the golf course. But if you wanna find a community that really, really has a ton of amenities, Blue Water Bay is gonna be one of the best that you're gonna find here in affor an affordable rate. And they have tons of walking and jogging trails. There's, go there's you'll see golf carts everywhere <laughs> if you go to Blue Water Bay. And they may not be golfing and just driving around. Um, and it's just gorgeous with all the different trees and, and how they've set that up. It's a little confusing driving around, but you get used to it. Plus we got GPS, right? So uh, that's one of the most popular places that we, are, we typically put people when, when they wanna go. But there's a ton of other communities that are surrounding that. And if you want more information on that, of course, get a hold of us and we can give you more of that or check out some of our other videos. <laughs> Shameless plug. All right, so that's all that we have for moving to Niceville, the five things that you love about living here, all right? So if you do have any questions, questions or comments on this video, please leave them in the comments below. Please try to keep it positive, all right? And I'll answer any questions that we can come up with here. And of course, if you are moving to Niceville, you got some questions and you need some help, please contact me, contact the team. We're happy to help. Again, give us a call, text, email, uh, find us on social media, whatever you need to do. We got you back when moving here to our area. But again, my name's Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with LPT Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Take care. Moving to Destin, Florida is apparently on the to-do list for many people around the country. So if you're getting ready to relocate to the area or at least considering it, then researching Destin should also be on that to-do list. Well, you've clicked on the right video because today I'm gonna to talk about five pros and five cons of living in Destin.